Mr. President, dear Commissioner, dear colleagues, in recent weeks I have received emails from fully vaccinated Dutch citizens who were held up at the German border because Germany does not accept vaccination certificates in Dutch. And this is not about Germany or the Netherlands, but it was a sneak preview to what could have happened this summer all over the European Union. 27 different national systems with different rules, different language requirements, different technology, and only one thing in common chaos. And this is why the EU needed to show its added value, and it did, by adopting in record pace a simple, safe, and accessible solution to all Europeans in the form of a certificate. And it will help citizens to prove that they have been vaccinated, that they have recovered, or that they have received a negative test result. And it will also help to facilitate the lifting of restrictions on free movement that we have seen all over Europe in the past 14 months. Now, after several rounds of intense negotiations, the legislation is here now, and it was welcomed strongly by Europeans everywhere. So it's now important to continue to build on this positive momentum. And it's excellent news that already nine member states are using the certificate. But let's not forget about the other 18. We have to make sure that all member states are ready by the 1st of July, and we call on the Commission to keep the pressure on while also continuing to lend a helping hand where necessary. All citizens in the European Union rightfully expect to be able to use this system by the start of summer, and member states must deliver. And we speak about, when we speak about delivering, it's not only about the technical implementation of the certificate. It is about much more than that. European citizen wants an end to the patchwork of 27 different rules on testing, self-isolation and quarantining. They want to finally have some coordination and predictability at our internal borders, and they want their fundamental European rights to free movement reinstated. They are looking to the European leaders to make this happen, and we also call on them. Let's not disappoint our citizens this summer. Thank you.